The Autism Society of America and all of its affiliates are highly nonpartisan and will never endorse any candidate for elected office. Rather, we attempt to educate people on the issues impacting individuals and families impacted by autism, including letting them know what positions elected officials, as well as those seeking such office, may or may not take on various public policy and legislative issues. The Autism Society will provide any declared candidate running for presidency who is securing at least 1% support in national polls equal time to any other candidate to appear on this show and discuss their plans. They also may choose to have a representative speak on their behalf. The Autism Society of America will not allow any speaker at any Autism Society event or on this show to speak harmful words against any other candidate or use the time with the Autism Society to suggest, imply, or state that the Autism Society is supportive of their candidacy. And Tony, before the break, we were talking about uh, the fact that Secretary Clinton has now focused on autism among other things, but specifically a very detailed autism plan. Can you maybe give us a, a broad overview of what it entails and, and what the most important points or most impactful points of that plan will be? Well, uh, Stephanie, the, the, this idea to do something on autism was something that uh, Hillary personally wanted to, to do. Uh, she feels very strongly in, in all of her visits uh, over the last uh, couple of years that uh, this was something that she felt needed to be addressed. I get a lot of people who say, well, why autism? Why not disabilities in total? Exactly. Um, she's going to address uh, disabilities in total as we move along. But she feels so strongly about the need to do something in regards to Alzheimer's and, and autism and mental health. And so the, she's come up with specific plans because of that. Uh, we are going to address overall issues on disabilities. Uh, but if you have uh, uh, a plan for autism, a lot of those uh, items apply to those of us with epilepsy and, and other uh, disorders and so forth. So uh, autism is a great thing to, to really pursue and push. Uh, but it does affect a lot of people. And she's going to be doing a lot more uh, in the disability space. So that's, I just want people to understand uh, of that. Secondly, in regards to the autism uh, plan, I think the great thing was is that it reached out to every segment of the autism community, brought in their views and what their needs were, and, and the plan has been accepted uh, by all aspects of the community and very, 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 very supportive of it. And I think that is a great accomplishment on the part of Hillary and her team that she's been uh, so uh, reaching out to everybody to make sure that all the, uh, the primary needs were considered. And so that is something that I think tells us about her interest, her desire, and her ability to bring people together. Well, there are some pretty scary statistics uh, insofar as autism is concerned. We have, I think, 3.5 million Americans are currently affected by autism, which is, as of 2010, one in 68 children. And part of uh, Secretary Clinton's proposal is that there would be a nationwide early screening outreach campaign. Can you speak to that and what yeah, that what entails? She would, what she would like to do, and I'm not going to get into all the specifics of the plan, but what she would like to do is to, when she's elected, is to convene uh, a group of individuals on the spectrum, professionals, members of the Congressional Autism Caucus, led by uh, Congressman Chris Smith, the Republican of New Jersey, and uh, Congressman Doyle from Pennsylvania, uh, Democrat, and parents to define the best approach and how to also address uh, current disincentives uh, such as uh, SSI uh, asset limits and loss of SSI when a person starts to work. You might also want to note that uh, the uh, Autism Society uh, has uh, developed a strong blueprint to addressing a, a lot of the issues related to services and supports of adults with autism. So the community itself has come up with all these plans and so forth. Hillary wants, when she's elected, to put this group together to uh, come out with the best approach, take what she's uh, developed 
but let them come up with the best approach and then work on the legislation with these members to come up with the best legislation to be introduced or the best programs to go after in order to accomplish the things that uh, she and the community uh, feel is needed. I've, I've heard that part of her plan involves pushing uh, more states to require health insurance coverage for autism services, uh, mostly in, as, insofar as private insurance plans are concerned. And I, I think that's probably a really good thing considering that where, where early screening is involved, we have children who are not being diagnosed until they're five years. I think over the statistic is something like over half of those children are not diagnosed. And her plan is proposing early screening at, as young as 18 and 24 months covered by insurance. And I know that coverage is an issue for many in the, in, you know, in the community. Uh, what can you, what do you know about her, her plans in so far as marketplace insurance plans, private insurance plans, and, and what those services would cover that aren't covering now. Do you know anything about well, that specifically? I don't, I don't think we've gotten that specific, but okay. I think that the issue is is that uh, early exams are, uh, are really critical to helping out uh, the individuals that uh, have autism. Uh, the earlier you, you uh, develop it or pursue it or find out about it, uh, the more effective you can be. So early diagnosis uh, and involvement with the private insurance companies is critical. And uh, so then the issue has to be is when she convenes this group, is how do we bring people together on that, make sure everybody agrees, and then how do you do it uh, by getting the organizations, uh, the, the state agencies, to be involved. It might be that you have to do it by uh, uh, the strength of the office. In other words, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Hillary being able to bring people together and to aggressively go after all the states to, to provide for this. If we can get some of the major states to, to do it, uh, then of course others will come on board. But I, the thing that she's willing to do is provide the leadership to get this done. I think there's a there's a statistic uh, that says something like 40 states uh, have what we call habilitative services currently, right. and that her plan is to try to push the remaining states to to follow suit and and focus more on the prevalence of adults living with autism and the fact that there needs to be better employment. Uh, that statistic is something like a 70% unemployment rate, uh, which is, is really frightening and needs to be dealt with. What do you think uh, her plan does to address that specific issue well, of, of work? Here's one, Stephanie, that applies to all disabilities, is that the unemployment rate for, for people with disabilities across the board is extremely high in the same area that you're talking about. And so uh, the question is, is how do we go about uh, having programs, incentives, whatever it takes to get people to hire uh, individuals with epilepsy and specific, in this case, autism. Mm -hmm. um, President Obama has started an effort where he, uh, Section 503 of the Rehab Act, basically says that people of color, women, and the disabled uh, have to be hired by uh, contractors and, and subcontractors, federal contractors and subcontractors. Uh, that is really a start, and that will be implemented starting uh, this coming year. Uh, it's already uh, been set up, but the enforcement of it just starts. Now, how do you then, uh, that's, that in effect in the first year, supposedly, you're going to get uh, 400,000 people with disabilities employed. Now. That's great across the board, but then how do you make sure that people with autism, individuals with autism, uh, are hired as well? And that's where you got to come in and you've got to make sure that it's across the board um, uh, in regards to all disabilities, but making sure that there isn't discrimination against one or the other. The, well, the uh deal here would be the Department of Labor would have to uh, insist upon that, enforce that, and so forth. Do you think that's it's, a huge Tony, do, it's definitely a huge undertaking. And, and I get what you're saying about unemployment across the board for people with all types of disabilities, but I'm, 
you know, my passion is also autism and, and I want to make sure that the people living with autism, the adults living with autism, as their caregivers are aging and are no longer able to take care of them, that they are able to be, you know, coming out of high school and getting yeah. secondary education and having that that good private public partnership for employment opportunities. I'm wondering what a Clinton administration would look like for those folks and whether you think that the Department of Justice needs to get involved because there appears to be some kind of discrimination at some level there. What do well, you think I, about that? Oh, I'm, I'm totally with you because it's the enforcement of ADA that the Department of Justice is uh, working and doing right now in regards to states, cities, and, and companies. Uh, and also where there's discrimination against an individual, but basically, the broader area. So uh, the uh, will what Hillary when elected will make sure that the Justice Department and the Department of Labor, which has the authority in regards to employment, uh, making sure that they are enforcing the law in regards to discrimination. There's a tremendous amount of discrimination. A lot of it has to do with fear uh, that somebody can't do the work or something's going to happen or whatever. And you know as well as I do on the whole spectrum, there are people that can be employed and, and effectively employed and make a difference uh, not only in their lives but the lives of others. And so it comes down to the commitment of the President of the United States to make sure that uh, his or her agencies, in this case uh, Hillary and the Justice Department, Labor Department and so forth, are enforcing the laws and going after where there are problems. There's definitely discrimination. The question is, is it is that discrimination a strong anti, or is it basically based on uh, not awareness of what those of us with disabilities and those with autism can and cannot do? So that's the leadership that's needed, and Hillary's willing to do that, the leadership that's needed to make the difference. The Autism Society of America and all of its affiliates are highly nonpartisan and will never endorse any candidate for elected office. Rather, we attempt to educate people on the issues impacting individuals and families impacted by autism, including letting them know what positions elected officials, as well as those seeking such office, may or may not take on various public policy and legislative issues. The Autism Society will provide any declared candidate running for presidency who is securing at least 1% support in national polls equal time to any other candidate to appear on this show and discuss their plans. They also may choose to have a representative speak on their behalf. The Autism Society of America will not allow any speaker at any Autism Society event or on this show to speak harmful words against any other candidate or use the time with the Autism Society to suggest, imply, or state that the Autism Society is supportive of their candidacy.